Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I have for you chess training. Let's be better chess player and let's solve first position. Why to move? It's your move and what are you going to play now? Maybe stop this video for a while and ask yourself, hey, what I am going to play here? Hey, what's going on? What's the best move and why? And that are the best questions uh, which could help you to be better chess player. So, your answer is, I hope that uh, you could tell me that uh, white has uh, one big issue. And that's exactly this pawn formation, which of course is really healthy, but unhealthy is this dark squares bishop. And this is the worst placed white piece. What we should do with our bad piece? At the first, uh, we should improve this piece. If it's not possible, we have to change this piece. And exactly the bad, this is the best answer. And the best move here was bishop b4. Yes, of course, it's hard to believe that with a bad pieces, we have chance to play good chess and to be good players. Of course, that's nearly impossible because good player has got good pieces and bishop b4 is a good move for a good player. Now, let's watch this game and move by move, you should have the right feeling that white is doing well. Uh, white is enjoying a good position and improving position where at the end, white won, but exactly what is most important factor of this position here is hard to find worst white piece because every piece has a job. So next example is waiting for you and remember first example because the second example is not far from the first example here. We have uh, this position where black is offering queen exchange. It's up to white if white is going for this exchange or no. What do you think? What's the best white move here? And the answer is that yes, of course, our queen is much more stronger than black's queen and there is no sense to exchange our queen. Of course, uh, the best move uh, was queen to c2 because of this king on d7. If our opponent has a king on d7, if our opponent has a king in the center and this piece is a, is a weak piece, why to exchange a queen? Much more stronger is to keep our queens on the board open position and start attack against this king. So what's the next white move? And as I told you, it's important to open position if you believe that your opponent's king is a weakness and if you believe that uh, you have a right to start attack, you have to open position and the best opener here is a move e4 and let's watch this game because at the end of this game white has amazing position with nice advantage and let's watch a difference between a white queen and black screen of course everything started in the first moment when you decided to keep queens on the board well done. Now let's see another example. Here, white to move. What do you think here white is going to play? Maybe take your time, but I'm sure that uh, this example is simple. In meantime, I should ask you for a small favor. If you are going to press like or follow, you will see our another uh, YouTube chess video and you will stay by us. Of course, thank you very much in advance for your follows and likes. And now let's watch what is the best white move. Of course, uh, it's not hard to see that here is open C file and open files are important, much more important than bad piece. I think that open files are one of the most typical 
this plan. We have to fight for this uh, for this file, but uh, it's not good to play now rook c1 because black is going to play rook c8 and I don't know if we are the winner of this fight. So we should we should win uh, the console over the open c file and the best move here is to play bishop a6. You know, let's watch what's happened because after bishop a6 and um, rook c1, that's absolutely clear that white's got nice advantage and mainly because he's enjoying open c file. Step by step, move by move, uh, you are improving your chess. And uh, I think that uh, the best way how to be a better chess player is to watch a simple position and to take something from every position because uh, that's the best way. Black to play. What do you think here black is going to play? Another typical position, another chance to be better chess player. And your answer is hopefully. You are, uh, you know that uh, the most important part on the board is the center. So let's follow the golden chess rule. Push your pawns in the center. If you can, play in the center. And here exactly white has a big, big difficulties after black's move e5 and now d5. And black is aggressive in the center. And that's the first side of Black's will that he is going to win this game. Knight uh, g3, d4, bishop g5, h6, and I think that everything here um, is fine for uh, Black. Another example is waiting for us. Here is a uh, white to move. And what do you think here is the best white move? And this is another lesson. You know, if you can, uh, you could uh, make a hard time for your opponent. And your opponent is uh, trying to bring his knight to game. So why not to stop him to give a life to his knight? And if this knight will be dead, this rook is nearly dead as well. So if you can make a problems to your opponent, the best move here was bishop b5 because uh, yes, exactly, this knight has no easy life. So a4, now rook b1, knight c4, and that's a beautiful position for white. White is enjoying nice advantage because of terrible, deadly placed black's knight on b8 and black has to work hard to give him a chance to play this game. So hopefully you have time and energy for another example. It's a uh, white to move and what do you think here white is going to play? Uh, it's good to block your opponent's pieces. So if you can just block one of the most important black piece. And yes, well done to everybody who believe that uh, the best move is to take knight on f6, check. And because of this danger bishop, it's nice to play move d5. After move d5, <laughs> That's a beautiful position because the difference between our bishop and black's bishop on b7 is the reason why I believe that white's got a nice position and advantage. And of course, if you remember the first diagram uh, where I told you that with bad piece is hard to be good chess player. Exactly here, Black's got big, big difficulties to, to fight for victory. I think that White has a nice advantage and Black 
has big, big issues. So let's go for another example. And um, white to move. What do you think here? White is going to play. Of course, white's got nice advantage, but uh, maybe not enough. So space, space. Uh, just watch this. Uh, Black's pawns, they are sitting on the light squares and because of this bishop it's good to block these pawns on light squares and to make Black's light squares bishop life even harder. So move a5 is going to block this bishop and after rook b8 c5. So that's uh, funny how uh, white is playing this a simple chess move. He's blocking uh, pawns and white is not giving any chance uh, to black to improve his piece. And after rook e7, what do you think is the best move for white here? Of course, ask yourself what is doing this knight on d3 and maybe um, you should have the same answer for that nothing special but good player is asking okay uh, what to do to have good knight here uh, what's the best move here and i think that the knight b2 that's the first good move knight c4 and finally one of these squares are waiting for you and um, that's exactly the best way how to be better chess player think about your pieces ask What's your worst placed piece and do your best and improve your worst placed piece. Because if you are going to improve your worst placed piece, you are going to improve yourself. And maybe that's it for now. Thank you very much for your likes, comments and follows. Hopefully you are following us and you will not miss another chess lesson for you. Take care, see you soon and have a good time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.